Okay, this is my circuit with a, uh, a matrix, a button matrix, uh, controlling an LED matrix. And I'm going to go uh, to the rough uh, schematic drawing here. You can see on the left, I have, I'm using the Arduino Mega, and um, supplied by 5 volts and ground. Now, on the bottom, you see the um, input pins, and that's uh, going to the, the button matrix. Um, here we're using four inputs uh, to control 16 outputs and uh, I'm using a ladder um, uh, of resistors uh, to do that and basically what I'm doing is ver uh, varying the voltage that the mega sees on the input pins uh, using the analog read function uh, and then the mega will output uh, on pins 22 through 37 um, a high on one LED only. And uh, here's the code that I wrote for it. It's, you can actually you can do this on the Arduino Uno. Uh, there's just a lot of pins, and really, you, you I did it, and it took up every pin available uh, on the Arduino Uno. Uh, so it was difficult for me because every time I tried to upload the code, um, I'd have to take out pins uh, 0 and 1 uh, from the LEDs because uh, it wouldn't upload the code because uh, 0 and 1 are the uh, trans transmit and receive uh, for data and uh, it was messing it up. So um, I recommend this for the Mega uh, more than the Arduino Uno, unless you just want to type the code in and and, uh, and and have it work flawlessly. Then if you do that, just remember you have to unplug pins 0 and 1. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here just a sec. There, there we are. Um, the, the yellow line there is just the, the end of the loop. Uh, on the bottom here are the functions uh, that I wrote for this program and so um, I'm going to demonstrate the circuit uh, here's my ladder of resistors and this uh, obviously the button matrix comes with some of the basic uh, packages for the Arduino, this is the Arduino Mega and here's the LED matrix. Um, what I did was is basically um, put 180 ohm resistors since we're using uh, 5 volts, um, 180 ohms to limit the current. Um, but still, some people use 220. You can uh, just like a little brighter LED, and it's not going to harm the uh, LED with just that little amount of current. Uh, so. Um, Basically, you can see the circuit work. Now, I, uh, I programmed it so that you have uh, a delay time, a pause time of uh, 300 milliseconds on the, uh, on once the button is pressed. Um, and that was to limit the amount of uh, uh, just uh, misfires of the LED, um, misreads of, of the analog inputs. Um, you have to let these uh, analog inputs uh, settle a bit or else they get kind of glitchy. Um, and uh, so that's, uh, that's pretty much it.